Apple's next big leap in laptop performance is on the horizon. The M5 MacBook Pro is expected to arrive later this year, and it's bringing massive improvements. A smarter chip, better battery, cutting-edge connectivity, and more, all without changing the design we have grown to love. If you're wondering whether it's worth the wait or just another small upgrade, stick around, because in the next few minutes, I'll break down everything we know and help you decide what's best for you. Let's start with the heart of the upgrade, the M5 chip. The report suggests Apple is working with TSMC's most advanced 3NM process, possibly even using an upgraded node like N3E or N3P. That's a fancy way of saying this chip is going to be faster, cooler, and more efficient than anything we have seen in the Mac. What that means for you, faster multitasking, smoother rendering in creative apps, longer battery life, possibly pushing even past the already impressive 18 to 22 hours we see now, and better performance under heavy loads, especially in the Pro Max variants. So whether you are a casual user or a creative pro, this chip will raise the bar. Now what about design? Well, Apple seems to following the don't fix what's not broken strategy. The upcoming 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pros are expected to keep the same look with that sleek aluminum body, sharp mini LED display, and MagSafe charging. But inside, that's where things get exciting. Wi-Fi 7 support for ultra-fast wireless speeds, Thunderbolt 5, which could double data bandwidth and improve support for 8K displays or multiple high-speed accessories. Possibly faster unified memory, which means even better responsive in demanding apps. Apple's clearly focusing on internal power and connectivity, not flashy new looks. If you're already budgeting, here is what we expect. The 14-inch M5 MacBook Pro will likely start at around $1,600 to $1,800. The 16-inch version could begin with $2,500 and reaching over $4,000 for top configurations. These prices are similar to the current M4 lineup, which means Apple isn't planning to increase the base cost, a relief for anyone watching their wallet. So should you wait? If your MacBook is more than two or three years old, or if you're a power user needing top tier speed, yes, it's worth waiting. If you use your MacBook for video editing, music production, app development, or other heavy work, the M5 MacBook Pro or M5 Max could be a game changer. But if you just bought an M2 or M3 MacBook and it's working fine, this isn't an urgent upgrade. And if you are mostly doing light tasks, browsing, email, docs, the current M4 model will do just fine for years. So it really comes down to how you use your Mac, not just chasing the newest thing. To wrap up, the M5 MacBook Pro is shaping up to be the refined performance beast. No wild design changes, but a serious boost in power, efficiency, and future-proof features like Wi-Fi 7 and Thunderbolt 5. What do you think? Are you waiting for the M5 or sticking with your current setup? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear your take. And of course, if you want more updates on Apple's future releases, MacBook comparisons, and hands-on reviews, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any update. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.